the Lord told me that a lot of people are going to die. And he also told me what these people need to do. That people will seek for death. And that a day is going to be very, very long in their eyes. Hello and welcome to Igola Yopuna Global Outreach. I am Brother Hosanna David. This is a message the Lord gave to me on the 1st of December 2021. In the morning hours, the Holy Spirit revealed these things to me because He wants me to warn people. I've already posted this message on igolayopuna.com, our ministry's website. And I've shared it with some persons too, warning them about what is coming ahead. This message is coded, but I did actually want to do the video and start explaining because of the high level of censorship that we used to have on social media platform. So I just posted a message there. But now the pressure to take videos down have died down. So I want to do this video. Although I may not be very, very plain, but I will try the very best I can to explain so that people can understand. This message is about mass death. The Lord told me that a lot of people are going to die. And he also told me what these people need to do. That people will seek for death. And that a day is going to be very, very long in their eyes. So what do we need to do as humans living in this particular time? I will try to make some explanation. Please use your understanding. Also, try to visit our website. Please, I want to beg you, share this video. Share this video. Warn people. Share it and let people hear the truth. Before we continue this message, please, if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell as you subscribe. At about 7.52 a.m., the Holy Spirit revealed to me in a vision. He said, as usual, I wrote this vision down, so I'm going to read from what I wrote down. The times spoken of in the Bible is now. It is a time where the wrath of God touches the earth. It is a war of men against their fellow men. I spoke, yet nobody listens. But now that what I warned about is happening, none can deny the pains they live in. The wind of war that is allowed to blow across and around the world is to bring about revival and will open the great gates of pains and distress. Let me explain a little bit. The Holy Spirit revealed to me that he has warned, but people didn't actually listen. Now the consequences are going to play out. And that the wind of woes, the wind of pains, of agony, is allowed. He allowed it. The wind of woe, sorrows, is allowed to blow across and around the world. People are going to die. Some people are going to fall ill. I mean, ailments, sicknesses that will defy medical treatments and they will wait for death. But in all this, the Lord has a plan. He wants to make good use of this plan. And that is opening the door of salvation for unusual number of people. Not because the salvation is going to save them from the sickness, although miracles can happen, but to actually make use of the opportunity so that they can have eternal life when they finally die. Now back to the message. The damp substance I reveal to you in a vision is this current pandemic. Let those who understand the times get ready to fly. The day is nearer than you ever think. I am the Lord God Almighty. I hold time and I 
allow what happens in each split of the hours, whether good or bad. I remember a dream that I had some time ago. Now let me take some time to explain this dark substance that the Lord is referring to. There is this message that I published both on YouTube and on my website, egolayopuna.com. The links are in the description box of this video. On the 10th of December 2019, I had two important prophetic dreams. In this dream, I saw that the earth was releasing a very damp substance. It was wet, very damp. It wasn't dry. I was told in the dream that the name of the substance is called Bermuda. This dark substance was erupting from beneath the earth to the surface of the earth. The mud-like substance formed small mounds, like small mounds on the surface of the earth, on the ground. I understood in that dream that this same thing was being released upon the ground, upon the surface of the earth, in other places in the world. If you doubt this thing I'm telling you, please, I want you to watch this video. I have a message from the Lord that I want to give to us today. It is a dream I had some days ago and I saw that the earth was releasing a very damp substance and the name of it was called Bermuda or I've only heard about Bermuda Triangle but until I had a dream I never checked what Bermuda actually means. I saw the earth it was releasing a very damp substance it was like uh, something mixed with mud but the place was damp and these things were just coming up uh, it was like an eruption, like a volcanic eruption, but it was coming out slowly upon the surface of the earth. And it was not very huge like a mountain, it was just kind of like a mound. It was kind of small, like a ridge, a, a small heap, and not very high. It was also happening in other places in the world. And as I was looking, the Lord started speaking to me. I heard the Spirit of the Lord telling me that this substance is called Bermuda, that the earth is tired of the sins of men and that it is releasing Bermuda and that the earth is ripe enough for harvest. When I woke up, I knew the Lord is sending a warning to His children in the world. Another time, the Lord also spoke to me concerning this dream. And the Lord told me that the damp substance that came out of the out of the earth, these are plagues that are coming upon humanity. Plagues, P L A Q U E S, plagues that are coming upon this earth. The Lord told me that the Lord that the substance I saw that was that the earth was emitting are uh, woes there are plagues that are coming upon the earth. I was doing the live streaming and I mentioned this, that this is what God really to me in the live streaming. I just did a video and it's, it's about the earth releasing uh, one, uh, one uh, uh, substance, a substance and the Lord told me that this earth, the Lord told me that this earth is old enough for harvest. The earth is tired, is tired. So much evil is happening in the world today. And also, I, I'm going to do another video and do some explanation, but to keep this video really not too long, let me just go straight and talk about these things. Maybe I will do a special video and talk about uh, this summary of the messages God has given to me about this pandemic because a lot of people are arguing when I say some things that 
this is what God says, we shouldn't do this, we shouldn't take this, let's go this way. Some people feel that um, these things are being invented, that they are not messages from the Lord. So I'm going to try to do a video, a comprehensive video, and show you the progression of these messages. Now, this one is referring to the dream, two dreams that I had, two significant dreams about this pandemic. The Lord has also revealed to me, if this particular VC injection they are giving, if it is the mark of the beast, I am going to take my time to explain what the Lord revealed to me another time. As I was looking, I heard the Spirit of the Lord telling me in that dream that the substance that was being released upon the surface of the earth is called Bermuda. Funny enough, I wasn't told the real meaning of Bermuda, what the Lord was actually uh, pointing out. I was told after that time that Bermuda actually represents death, that it means death. And we actually saw the death in the year 2020. Till now, we are still seeing the death. But there will be more death. That's the truth. After this message, I'm going to also do a video where I'm going to talk about autoimmune disease outbreak. It's a message the Lord gave me early this year. Autoimmune disease outbreak. It's tied also to this message, but I got this message first before the one of the autoimmune disease outbreak. The Lord also told me that the earth is tired of the sins of men. That means the sins of men are way beyond what it's supposed to be. So the earth is releasing Bermuda, it's releasing death as a way of punishment and judgment. Because sin brings death. Sin brings punishment. Sin increases the power and the influence of Satan and his demonic agents over humanity. God actually knew that the pandemic, or you can call it pandemic, he knew that it was coming. And he decided to give that warning. Please, a lot of things are happening and things are going to still happen. I want to let you know that this world has just entered another phase of end time calendar. So we God's children need to be careful. Don't play church. Don't play with your salvation. This message primarily is a warning message telling people what is coming and how they can get their salvation. It is not to scare anybody. Danger is coming. It has crawled to some people's doorsteps. It has entered some people's rooms, bedrooms. We need to understand, please, as you watch this message, share this video. Share this message with people. The link to this message is going to be in the description box to our website so that you can read it. Please share this message and let people know that danger is coming and that this is the time to get close to the Lord. This is not a time to kill oneself. No. This is not a time to take your own life because what is coming is going to make some people take their own lives. The Lord told me very clearly, which I will soon uh, make known to you in this video. This is a time to seek the Lord. If you are a child of God, encourage those who are in need of encouragement. This is not a time to backbite. This is not a time to betray. This is not a time to distance ourselves, those of us who are saved, from those who are in trouble. This is a time to show them God's favor. Let me tell you something. Yesterday in the afternoon, the Holy Spirit told me to call a woman. She has only one son. And after the son got married, the son 
decided to back the woman, the mom. Yesterday, I was on my table working in the evening, and then I slept off. The Lord spoke to me and told me, call this woman now. She wants to commit suicide. Call her. Call this woman. So I called her. She told me that she hasn't eaten since morning till that night time. She lost her business. She lost her money. I asked her if she has food. She said no. By God's grace, I sent her some money. She told me the money is exhausted and it was already late. I asked her if she could go to ATM machine to withdraw. She said no, that she would be till this morning. I felt for her. She told me she was just lying down and rolling on the ground, that she can't even sleep. She has been thinking. Thoughts have overwhelmed her heart. Why am I referring this thing that happened just some hours ago? It's because we are going to see situations like that among even the brethren. We are going to see this among our co-workers. We are going to see situations like this of people trying to give up, people trying to take their own lives. People trying to just end it all because of pains, excruciating pains. So let us be loving, caring, and accommodating. Let us, when we see people who are sick, let us draw close and see how we can lead them to Christ, not just giving them encouragement. There is a message the Lord is passing to pastors in this vision. It is not to pastors alone, but it is to everybody. Let us make the best use of this great opportunity for the harvest of souls. It is coming. I am telling you it is coming because the Lord has revealed it to me. And I am telling you Categorically, even though I have not been there, the one who has been there in the future has told me to tell you that we should make the best use of this opportunity and lead those who are going to fall sick to Christ. Let's go back to the message. Tell my children to intensify the work of evangelism, the pure gospel of salvation. Tell them that this is not a time to heap wealth. I am the Lord their God. I will provide for my work. Then I saw some men in suits, well dressed. They seemed confused. I saw them, they were kind of confused. You know how, like, some people make a plan and the plan is not working as, as proposed. So they were walking and talking they were in the same place kind of confused they were pondering what is happening what is happening they were talking there was a black jeep parked close to them i saw a car i don't know what it means there was a black jeep parked close to them then the holy spirit said to me These are the enemies of humanity. They think that they are smart according to their human wisdom, but they are fulfilling the scriptures. My children should scatter their oneness in prayer. Prayer shall make them more confused. Pray that the spirit of death should visit them. Since they work out death in the lives of ignorant people, Pray that they reap what they sow. I am the Lord of the whole universe. All Christians are called to pray so that we can scatter the plans of the globalists, the plans of the evil ones. Everything that is happening today was planned. It is actually a Hegelian process. It has three main steps. Number one, if 
the globalists, the Illuminati, if they want to control humanity, if they want to control a group of people or a country, what they do first is that they create a problem. They choose, after creating the problem, they choose the reaction of the people. How the people should react to the problem that they have created. And then the last process is that the same people who have created the problem, the same people who have chosen the reaction of these people by maybe using me, the media, strategic planning, uh, devising different kind of means to choose how people should react, the same people will come up with a solution. And you know what? The solutions always come with baits. It comes with hooks inside of the solutions. This is how they could deliberately crash an economy and come up with solutions. The same people who locked us down decided to feed us and gave us allowance, gave us provision, gave us food. They have an aim. They have a place they are heading to. Let the children of the kingdom of God be wise. This is not the time to be unserious. Please let us wake up. The times are dangerous. Back to the message. Tell my pastors that some of them have allowed themselves to be deceived. Hence, they lead their members astray. Tell them that a great harvest of souls is coming. A time is coming that both young and old shall seek death but shall not find it. Therefore, the rate of suicide shall be high. Now is the time for the harvest when the Lord God Almighty shall open the gates of heaven for those appointed for his final mercy. The gates of hell shall be wide open too. This is why my pastors must do their work diligently. I am counting on them to help those who seek death on their own. To help them wait till the day I will call them home. The Lord is calling on us believers, especially pastors, that because of the pains of sickness some people are going to pass through, they will want to take their lives. That it is our work, believers, to encourage them to stay till the day they will be called home by the Lord, that they should not take their own lives. Taking one's self life, one's own life, is sin. It is a very abominable sin. It takes someone, the perpetrator, straight to the pit of hell. There is no judgment. It is self-condemnation. We can't give life, so we have no right to take life. The life that we carry in ourselves, the breath, came from God. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. God breathed into the nostril of man the breath of life, and man became a living soul. We have no right to take life, and we must not in any way encourage it. Even if countries make laws, if you are working in the medical field, if they make law, that you can help someone who wants to leave, to depart. Don't put people's blood on your hands. Don't bring the guilt of murder upon yourself. Be warned that the Lord hates it. Rather, encourage people. It is against biblical beliefs and our practices. Don't do it. It is against the Christian doctrine. I am counting on them to help those who seek death on their own, to help them wait till the day I will call them home. Although a day shall be like several weeks in their eyes, let them wait for the real date of departure. I am the Lord. No one that commits suicide shall see my face. The darkness that is spreading now has not covered the whole earth. It shall go deeper till the hearts of men shall faint.
then they shall know that the God who wants men to repent is capable of vengeance. Now, let me make this very, very clear to us. That this message that the Lord has given to me has some links to this pandemic. Or rather, pandemic. It has a direct link to it. In the next video, which is the message about autoimmune disease, you are going to understand better. Please share this video. Share this video with everyone in your contact list. Share it to Facebook, to Twitter. Let people know this is about the salvation of men. Let pastors hear this message. Send it to your pastors. Send it to your evangelists. Send it to missionaries. Let them know that a great harvest of souls is coming. Death is coming. It shall be rampant. It shall be very, very common, more than usual. So let us get ourselves ready. And for those of you who are not yet saved, or those of you who are saved but are weak, please wake up. The harvest of souls, not just harvest, but a great harvest of souls is coming. Get ready. This will be a time to add some stars. To your crown as you win souls and lead many to Christ stars will be added to your crown in heaven thank you for watching may the Lord God bless these words in our hearts and help us to be obedient children in the name of Jesus Christ if you have not subscribed please subscribe to this channel Eagle Ayopuna if you have not given your life to Christ and you need assistance reach me i'm available my contact details are on the screen on our website you can visit my website hosannadv.com and i will be very much available to assist you may the lord god almighty see us through these dangerous times in jesus christ's name amen god bless you